Hi, it has been, gosh, a long, long time since I have done a Get Ready With Me. And this morning I thought, you know what? Let's just gather up all my favorites, the things that I grab every day, every day that I put makeup on anyway, which isn't every day, but when I do, these are the favorite things I have been using nonstop. So if you'd like to see my general full face of favorites, this is what it ends up looking like. Stay tuned, here we go. So here's my face. This is what we're working with today and every day pretty much. Um, as you can see, here's my hyperpigmentation, my freckles, the whole thing, my wrinkles. Everything is right here for you to see and this is how I cover it all up. <laughs> so let's start. This is what I normally do. I don't wear makeup every day. On days where I know I'm just staying home, on weekends and stuff, if there's a day I'm just hanging around at home, I don't put a thing on. So it's not like I have to wear a mask at all times. But when I do, I find it fun. And this is what I do. And this is my normal thing of a lot of my favorites lately. So it's a face full of favorites. Let's go. First, I put on my uh, Sea Firma. It's good stuff from Drunk Elephant. It's very watery. And I just sort of put a little pump in my hand here. Take my fingers and pat, pat, pat all over just to kind of firm up and reduce the um, extra hyperpigmentation from the summer. I always go down like on my jawline, it's whatever's left. So I pat that in. And it just, like I say, it's very watery but you definitely can feel a tackiness to it toward the end and then that sinks in and it feels perfect. So there's that. And it really does, I use this usually only at the end of summer where I'm more freckled than usual just to kind of take that down a little bit for the rest of the year. So that's what I do first. Then comes my eye cream. It's the Shani Darden um, Intensive Eye Renewal Cream. Love this stuff. This is my second container. I usually use my middle finger, actually, I just put a little pump of it like that. And I'm looking at myself in my viewfinder, and I have a mirror down here too. So if I'm looking anywhere but at you, that's why. It's hard to put makeup on when you're not looking at your face. I just go around the orbital bone, and it just sinks right in, and I love it. Then I use whatever um, moisturizer I feel like using that day. The one I've been liking a lot lately is by Sobel Skin RX. It's the Biohyaluronic Moisture Cream Extreme. So this is what I've been using. Looks like this. I just plop it. It sinks in beautifully. And then normally, I'm not always completely dressed when I'm doing this, so I don't have to like, you know, go around my clothing, but I always put some on my neck. Never forget your neck. <laughs> that shows signs of aging, you know, faster than anything else anyway, so I always moisturize my neck. So, there we have the beginnings, the foundation of life. So there's that. Now let's put on some fun stuff. I find um, applying makeup to be fun. It's just creative. It's kind of like art. It's like doing a paint by number in a way. I don't know. I find it interesting and fun. I don't enjoy having to do it every day, which is why I don't do it every day. But when I do, I, I enjoy it. It's fun for me. First thing, since this is a face full of favorites, I do have to say this is my absolute favorite, hands down favorite foundation. It's the Ultra... Latent, Latent, whatever, by Chanel. I just adore it. It's wonderful. My color is B20. And it, I mean, you'll see, even with the hyperpigmentation and freckles, it's almost like a freckle eraser. I <laughs> can't speak. It's almost like a freckle eraser. It's bizarre because this color matches me. I just perfectly, but you'll see what I mean. I just pump a little on the back of my hands, so about two pumps. Sometimes that's a little much, sometimes it's not. And then I don't know how I'm going to do this where I can see what I'm doing, but anyway, I just kind of tap, tap, tap it all over and then just kind of spread that around. If there's too much, I just add it somewhere else. But you can see how it just matches my skin tone perfectly and just erases the spots. 
the freckly spots and bits. I go over my eyes and everything. Some people don't, they just do concealer only there, but I go, I just lightly, I don't put much, just whatever's left from wherever I was, just was with it. But you can see it just, get a color that matches your skin tone perfectly. And it goes on, it looks like skin. I use a beauty blender. Beauty blender to me is the very best way to put foundation on. Most foundations just do so much better with a beauty blender. And you can still see my freckles through it. It's not that it's a mask and completely covers. Um, which I like. I like that you can still see, see, look at that, you can still see tons and tons of freckles and everything, but it just makes it less of a contrast and it looks much more natural than a full, you know. Plus I'd have to do my neck and everything else to, and that looks so bad. <laughs> you know, if I were to try to cover my entire freckleness and whatever on my face, and then I had this perfectly looking, you know, non-freckled face, how ridiculous would that look next to seeing the freckles on my neck? I mean, you can't do your whole body. Um, and why would you want to, really? So to me, just nothing looks worse than having this perfectly porcelain, wonderful, gorgeous, you know, face. And then everything else is, you know, not the same consistency. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. So there's that. Then, um, usually I wait and do concealer at the end. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do what I usually do. Next, I have brows, and this is my new favorite. This is the Air Brow. I got a sample of this um, from Sephora when I'd ordered something, and I'm really enjoying this. This is soft brown, which I like when I still have some of these lighter tones in my hair. When my hair is darker, I think I prefer the, um, the medium brown. Yeah, you just cover right over. Brows make the world of difference. Ta-da, super, super simple. Really enjoy that a lot. Okay, then I do um, my eyeshadow stuff. And I've been using this, uh, the Violet Boss Cool Vibes. And I'm wearing kind of a cool tone sweater today. So and I love this because it's not too cool. Like some of these tones have a lot of like terracotta to them. So it's just kind of perfect, but then you can add some grays in to cool it up. So I'm really liking this. Let's just get in there with the lightest shade. I always go right up here. And I do in my inner corner here. Just to basically in that cave there that always gets dark. That's where I go. And then sometimes I mix this with any of the little sparklier tones I'm kind of doing all over lightly. Then I, that's just with like a flat brush. Then I use more of a fluffier type of shading brush and I'll go in with something a little on the lighter tone. Let's go with coolest brown. And here in the crease, a little bub. I have very little eyelid space, but a ton of space between the crease and my eyebrow. So this is what I do. It all depends on how your own eyeball is made.
So that's kind of what gives me the shape and definition. And then just blend, blend, blend. I go down into the V too a little bit. Then I will take one of these sparklier tones. They are not super sparkly or anything, but I will just take one of those on my finger and pat, pat, pat right in the middle, middle to inner section there, just a little bit. Adds a little bit of a sheen, not like a sparkle, but just a sheen there. It kind of opens the eye and brightens it up a little, I think. So then if I feel I want to add any more darkness to the corners, which I normally don't too much, but let's just do it. I add a little bit of this gray, I mean, talking a tiny, tiny bit and just sort of stamp it right there in that corner. Bring it up a little bit, blend it in. Then I use like a little tiny, a little tiny brush thing here and I'll choose one of the darker tones that kind of goes along here with the look and I guess we'll use the gray and use a little bit of it as a liner. It's just such a softer way to line and just looks, you know, less full makeup-y. Okay. Now it's time for mascara. I've been using a lot my Chantecaille with the uh, growth serum in it. Really like it. I'm gonna do this, okay. I do see a difference in my lash length when I use this. It just really um, it helps them grow. It really does. And remember, I don't have concealer on. I will get there. I will link all these products down below if you're interested in them. Okay, now, as you can see, I have darkness, obviously. Um, I don't have fillers or anything, so I've got these, you know, crevices, whatever, as we all get. Um, but you can see, like, some sparkly makeup and stuff gets there, and I just use whatever my beauty blender is like at the moment and just kind of pat under there to kind of get rid of some of that before I put on my concealer. And I do concealer last. It's the weirdest thing, but it seems to work the very best for me. So there's that. Um, at this point, I put on a little bit of a mineral veil, which is kind of worked as a setting powder. I just kind of go over it with a big fluffy brush and just over my face. Just kind of keeps things set. Now, if I'm doing any kind of shading, I will use this, which is the Smashbox Step-by-Step -step Contour Palette. I really enjoy this one because I really like this color. This is one of the most perfect colors. If your skin tone is like mine or similar to it, you, there's also a bronzer, but I never hardly ever use a bronzer. I like a contour, a whole different story. This has a cooler tone and just helps create shadows, which gives you like cheekbones and all sorts of things you might not actually have. You know, just really, just the tiniest, lightest bit gives you just that instant look that you have a cheekbone. You know, it's just unbelievable. I go up here a little bit too, just to contour that area. 
Do that tiniest little bit. Just adds a little bit of something without it looking, you know, too chiseled. Nobody wants to look like, you know, that kind of thing. And if I feel like it, I put a little bit on each side of my nose just to get that a little bit more of a chiseled effect. But again, it's very light. And then I'll do the jawline. Just make that look a little firmer. Who doesn't want that, right? Love that. Now, blush, one of my favorite blushes that I use all the time, I love Tarte blushes. They just work and stay on my face for longer than almost any other kind except for Chanel. Chanel stays really well too. But Tarte in Risqué is the name. I love this color, it goes with absolutely everything. You can't go wrong, you can't overdo it really. I just, just add a little bit, make your blush face. to give my face some color. There's that. So now we are at concealer time. So this is basically the full face except for lips and then I always do concealer right now. So I use always, I love this concealer. It's the Chanel. It works just better than anything else for me. Um, it is in 20 beige for me. Can't really get rid of the darkness of the hollows there. And the only thing that can do that is basically a, um, you know, filler. So I'm not going to do that. So I usually use my beauty blender, and sometimes I will use one of my very favorite um, concealer brushes by Pat McGrath. Love this one too. It just really gets in the corners and does so well. So either one of those works beautifully. Whatever's left, I kind of just go up here. There's that. And then sometimes I'll put a little extra of the mineral veil there under just to help. Set that. Lips. Generally, my favorite thing I do with my lips is a liner, and this is my very favorite. I use it constantly. I've gone through these like crazy. It's Dervish by MAC. Love the shade. I don't know if it just because it works well for my own lips. It's kind of like a your lips bit better. I do a light lining just down below a little bit, just that much, and then smear it around a little bit so it doesn't look like a line. And then here. That already makes just a huge difference. And then I use my Pat McGrath Blow Up Lip Fetish. The color is called Blow Up. That's what it looks like. It's just a nudie. Pinkish, peachish, nudie, anything color. Kind of goes with whatever feels so good. I really, really love that. So anyway, there's, that's pretty much my face for the day. Shakeity shake on my Urban Decay All Nighter. And I usually do about, I always, I've counted before. I'm like, how many did I just do? Around seven or eight sprays is usually what I do. That was like seven and a half. <laughs> I, I try to get all the way under and around and everything. And I swear that really, 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 really helps everything sort of stay like this till the end and until I take it off. So that, my friends, is my face for the day. Any day that I put makeup on, I pretty much use many of these. I almost always use some of them, but um, my eyeshadow, you know, changes with the day many times, and my blush color changes with the day, and I guess my lips too sometimes. But in general, this is what I've been using. These are my favorites right now, so it's a full base of favorites. So thank you so much for joining me. It's been a long time since I've uh, done a Get Ready With Me. So I thought, you know, it was just something fun to do before I got ready for the day. I may as well stick the camera on my face and do it in front of everybody, right? <laughs> thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Talk to you soon. Bye.